play action. Going to him, and he's not going to be able to get in. We're going to have to spike the ball. What's going on, guys? My name is Gameaholic, and welcome back to the Central Michigan Rebuild. Last week, we got a blowout win at home. It was our first home game. Hopefully, we can continue to win throughout the season. We are now 1-1. One one. This week, we are going up against 0-2 oh UNLV. So let's get into some recruiting, and then we'll get straight into the game. All right, so recruiting looks pretty much the same as last week. Nobody's really interested yet, so we're definitely going to have to wait a couple of weeks before we really start to see prospects start to come in. All right, guys, so this is an away game. This is our second away game of the season. Let's see if we can finally win a game away. All right, so we'll be starting out on defense. Ooh! That was a super big hit. Oh, he misses the tackle. Going to bring it for 34-yard punt return. I'm going to do a short pass off to the running back. Going to run a little triple option play, see if I can get it out. And he fumbles it, but then he does manage to pick it up and bring it for another six yards. I'm going to try and throw it in here. See if I can get it to him, and it's incomplete, and that'll be fourth down. Nearly sacked, but he does manage to get it off and pick up the first down. See if we can hold him here, if they're going to be able to get the first down. Breaks through, almost sacked, but the pressure was enough to force a bad pass, and now they're going to have to punt again. Alright, our offense has come back out. This time we don't have as good of a field position. Going to take it with the quarterback, and he doesn't get it anywhere, picking up just one yard. It's now third down. Gonna go just past the first down markers, get a 10 yard reception, and that'll give us the first down. Gonna try and surprise him with a deep pass. And he can't hold on, that'll bring up fourth down. He does manage to actually dive for the first down. All right, we're going to come out and try and throw it. We haven't really done too much of that today. Get a kind of deep pass going. See if he can hold on, and he can't. Pressure coming. Trying to throw it off, but it looks like it's going to be intercepted. Tried to throw it on the run. That was a huge mistake, and my quarterback has given up on the play. He's just sort of walking. And that'll give them the lead as long as they can make the PAT. Oh, and I'm sacked. Trying to get this off before the end of the third quarter. And we can't do it. Fourth down and two. Definitely going to kick it yet again. Take the lead. The 40-yard field goal to take the lead. And it is through. Hand it off straight up the middle. And he hurdles one of my guys. Manages to get around the outside and inside the 10-yard line. Green. Looks like this might be able to go into the end zone. Touchdown UNLV. They retake the lead. It is very crucial that we do get a touchdown on this drive because it could win or lose us the game. Can't make any mistakes. At the same time, we also don't want to leave too much time on the clock for them to come and make their own game winning touchdown. does break the tackle, does manage to get off, and I'm not sure if they'll count that as out of bounds. Looks like they won't, so the clock is still running. Two minutes and 18 seconds left. We get the first down. Less than two minutes left to go in the game. And we're sacked for six yards. Definitely want to start picking up the pace now. Clock is running down. We do have three timeouts. But we need this first down. He won't get it just quite yet. Third down and one. I just want to try running it up the middle. And it will work. We will just get the first down. Clock is still running. Running up to a minute now. Let's 
So far we've got pretty good clock management. We're down now, close to the 20 yard line. 35 seconds left. Waiting for him to make that cut and it's nearly intercepted. That could have been very, very dangerous. Definitely got saved on that last play. Now I'm just trying to go for the first down and make sure that we have enough downs to get all the way there. And we do get the first down and then some. I'm gonna call our second time out there to stop the clock. We are at the seven yard line with 26 seconds left in the game. I'm gonna try and run it with the quarterback. Only managed to get one yard and that's gonna have to be our last timeout right there. We've struggled all day in the red zone trying to get a touchdown after this. Jin going to him and he's not gonna be able to get in. We're gonna have to spike the ball. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What are they doing? Get up to the line, get up to the line, get up to the line. Snap the ball. Are you kidding me? I was holding, I was holding B, which goes up to spike the ball, which is to throw it at the ground and stop the clock. Because you don't have any timeouts left, so you just throw it at the ground and it stops the clock. And that's the button you do to, you hit to do that is B. And I was holding that and they were just walking around like nothing and he wouldn't snap the ball. That's ridiculous. That is a ridiculous loss. That is actually ridiculous. That is upsetting. That's an extremely upsetting loss that the game just forced me to lose there. All right, guys, a bit of an upsetting loss there. I know the game kind of bugged out there at the end, but it was still really close the entire game, and it was still a really fun game to play. So if you guys do want to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.